Good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing this morning? My name is Jason Hinkey with Northern Cross Arm Company. We're a wood treater based out of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. And today I'd like to talk about some of our products. Treated lumber. People have been doing treated lumber the same way for a million years. You take your lumber, you put it in a treating cylinder, fill the cylinder with water, chemical, pressurize the, the cylinder, and then boom, Bob's your uncle, you've got pressure treated lumber. Do a few extra things to add to the quality and add to the stability of that treated lumber. So where your, your normal treater, they're gonna take that lumber out of the treating cylinder, they're gonna put it on the truck, shoobity doo, down the road to the lumber yard it goes. Northern Cross Arm, we're gonna take that lumber from the treating cylinder and we're gonna put it in our kiln. In the kiln, we're gonna take out that extra water and it's gonna shrink that lumber down just about to the original size that it was before it was treated. So we have our regular treated board right here. And here's our kiln dried board. The only difference between these two boards is that this one went in the kiln after it was treated. And you can see, looking at the board, you can see the difference in size. You can't tell the difference in weight. I can tell you that this board is significantly heavier than this one, where this one weighs about the size of a, about the weight of an untreated board, and this one is your standard super heavy, super wet treated lumber. So when we put that lumber in the kiln, what does it do? It brings it back down to that original size, original weight, so it's lighter, easier to work with. We get all that moisture out of there, it's gonna be easier on your tools, easier on your equipment. And most importantly, it's more stable. You know, if you, you look at composite decking, it's one of the biggest issues with composite decks. It's that wave in the deck board. What causes that? It's when that joist shrinks, moves from the water coming out of it over time. If you put down a wet joist and you butt it up nice and tight and you come back in three, six months, you have no idea where that joist is gonna be. If you take a kiln dry joist and we put it down, we do that same thing, come back in three to six months. It's wood, I'm not gonna ever make a guarantee with lumber, but I'm pretty darn sure it's gonna be pretty close to where it was when we left it. Now we're gonna take that kiln dried lumber and we're gonna go a step further. We pull it out of the kiln, we run it across our stacker, and there we sort it. So with that wet lumber, that 10, 20, sometimes 25% call you get out of that unit, We've taken that down to about one to 2% because we pull out all the hooks, cups, cracks, all that stuff that you're pulling out in the lumber yard, we pull it out here so you don't have to worry about it. After we sort it, we run it through our coating machine, which allows us to get that even brown color over the whole board. And my name is Jason Hinky. I wanna thank you guys for joining us today. If you have any further questions, please visit our website at crossarm.com.